Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Riptide 2023. This event is coming in at EB Plus here this time around. We have a bunch of top talent coming on down. For our top 16 seeds, you're going to have Zenodo, Doorstop, Kobe, and Chunky Kong in 13th. Send, Peanut, Icy Mist, and Geist in 9th. In 7th, you're going to have Leon and Goblin. 5th, Aaron and Lima. 4th, Chase. 3rd, Pocket, who is DQing from the event. 2nd, Apollo Kage and Project. So for the first bit of the bracket, our top seeds are going to be Mudes and Leon. Mudes is a player that's just really tough to predict how he's going to do in the bracket because if Mudes is playing well, he should run through all of these players. No offense to any of these players, but when Mudes is playing well, he beats literally the best player in the world and the second best player in the world and the third best player in the world. You kind of get where I'm going with this, but he has Squid Plumber as its first opponent, which can be a little bit tricky. Belmont is a super popular character, and there's a couple weird things in the matchup, like Peach isn't the best character at rushing Belmont down because she's just not a very fast character, but also I would definitely still have Peach winning that matchup, and I would expect Mudes to win it. Then you would have Mudes versus Beast. I would also expect him to win that, but again, Pokemon Trainer, not a super common character, though you probably should know the matchup because he used to be a super common character. I feel like people just kind of learned it by now. Then you would have Mudes versus Doorstop, likely, or honestly, Nido Sharp. I could definitely see both of those players getting to this point in the bracket, and I could also see both of those players beating Mudes. Again, I would favor Mudes versus both of them. I think Peach does pretty well versus Joker, and I do think she does well enough versus Zero probably more of an even matchup that I wouldn't really be super worried for Mudes. For Leon, though, I actually have Send over Leon because I think it's just a very, a very tough matchup. Overall, the record is 2-2 between them offline, but they have never played at a major event. Also, something to note, if the record is 11-2 online and offline, though online results don't really matter, but just thought I'd throw that out there. Our next top seeds are going to be Chase and Aaron. And honestly, I would be pretty surprised if both of these guys didn't get through on the winner's side of the bracket. You're going to have Chase versus Brogan, who I'm pretty sure plays Kazi. And considering that Chase has beaten Riddles before, I would definitely expect him to be Brogan. Then you would have Chase versus Z, which is likely going to be the Ditto. Though Z does have other characters he can choose from, his best character is going to be the Palutena. And Chase is extremely good at the Palu matchup, beating Luis in it multiple times. So I would expect him to win that. And then you would have Chase versus Nodo. If he's going to get upset at any point in the bracket, it probably would be to Zenodo here, but I would still favor him. It's not a matchup that really swings into either people's favor. Both characters are going to be fairly common, but Chase has just been looking super impressive as of late, so I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he wins that. And then for Aaron as well, I would definitely expect him to beat Rob, and I would definitely, definitely expect him to beat Little Mac. Now, Peanut has done some unthinkable, crazy things in the past before, but it's still, it's still Little Mac, and this guy beats Spargo. Like, if a guy that beats Spargo is losing to Little Mac. I don't know what this world has come to. Also, there's definitely a possibility that Candle beats Peanut, and then that Candle beats Aaron. I think that's probably more likely than Peanut over Aaron, but I would favor Aaron going into both players. Our next top seeds are going to be Apollo Kage and Goblin, and just let me push a little bit of a narrative here now. Apollo Kage chunky kong the worst thing about snake pretty much the only flaw of the character is going to be the fact that his disadvantage is a little bit lackluster donkey kong is a character with a lot of flaws but he has a very good advantage state now you take a character with a somewhat lackluster disadvantage state against a character with a really really good advantage state and it sounds like an upset waiting to happen to me now don't get me wrong snake definitely still beats donkey kong and also paul kage has beaten chunky kong in their only two encounters but again we are pushing a narrative here. I'm just saying there's definitely a possibility of Chunky Kong over Apollo Kage. There's also a possibility that Atata upsets Chunky Kong and then beats Apollo Kage as well because I think Ness actually does pretty well versus Snake. So I would expect Apollo Kage to make it through on the winner's side, but there's definitely some danger in his bracket. Goblin as well. Initially, when I saw Icy Mist, I was incredibly scared because Icy Mist is just a really scary player right now. But luckily for Goblin, I guess not luckily, he has a 3-1 record versus her. So I would expect him to win that. I think Loaf is a potential problem as well because Loaf is just a really good player honestly icy mist and loaf are two of the most underrated players in america right now so it's kind of a shame that they have to play each other and i would favor goblin probably against both of them but those are upsets that definitely could happen because those people are so so talented and they do not get nearly enough credit and our final top seeds are going to be Pocket and Lima. And unfortunately, Pocket is going to be DQing from the bracket. So I think it's going to be between Kobe and Omega to take his spot in the top 16. No offense to Atomic, but he's going to be playing Rob and Joker. I think Young Link destroys Rob, and I think Joker does very well versus Rob. And then if Kobe beats Omega, a very good Joker player, I would expect him to beat Atomic Joker. And if Omega beats Kobe, I would favor him in the ditto just because he is a little bit more proven as an outdoor Atomic. Definitely could prove me wrong at this event, though likely it's going to be between Kobe and Omega for that top 16 spot. And I would favor Omega in that matchup just because I think Joker does pretty well versus Young Link. It's probably an even matchup or slightly Joker favored. So we're going to say that Omega takes that and gets into the top 16. Then you're going to have Jaja Jaja 
upsetting Lima. Now, I'm not saying that Kirby is the Bayo Slayer. That matchup might even still be losing for the character, honestly, but low profiling and SDI out of combos by being really small is definitely going to be a problem for Bayo. And the fact that JJ has got second place at Cascadian Clash, he's coming into this event with a lot of of momentum i could definitely see him beating lima and if he beats the best bayo in america he's probably going to be able to beat geist as well so jj jj making top 16 winner side you heard it here first also, I just want to point out that we could get Lucky versus Jay 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 for a top 16 qualifier in 2023, which is Kirby versus Plant. I don't know what kind of times we're living in, but honestly, I'm here for it. Now we're at our top eight qualifiers, and again, we're only going to do the winner's bracket just because the loser's bracket is so fickle, but we're going to have Mides versus Leon, Chase versus Aaron, Apollo Kage versus Goblin, and Omega versus Lima. Now, for Mides Leon, I would definitely favor Mides going into that matchup. I mean, it's Peach versus Super Heavy. There's not really a ton to say here. Is it unwinnable for Leon? No, but it's definitely going to be an uphill battle. Then you're going to have Chase versus Aaron. Now, these guys have only played one time before. It did go to Chase's favor, but also it was two years ago. So it doesn't really mean anything, though I would still favor chase going into the matchup just because if he's going to get in this point in the bracket presumably he's going to have to beat zunoda who's a very good diddy kong player so if you can beat the first very good diddy you can probably beat the second very good diddy then you're going to have apollo kage versus goblin this is a bit of an interesting one because overall the record is 5-4 but of their last five encounters apollo kage has won four of them and i would definitely favor him going into this set he's just been looking super good as of late now it is something to note that goblin did beat apollo kage at battle of bc so maybe at these bigger scale events Goblin has a little bit less pressure on him and he's able to take it, but also Apollo Kage has been able to beat Goblin at regional events as Riptide is more of a regional, so gonna say that AK wins that one. Then you're gonna have Lima versus Omega. Now, I would favor Lima here, but it's kind of tough to tell because I think the matchup isn't super swingy in either character's favor and they have never played each other before, but Joker, definitely a more popular character than Bayonetta. Well, maybe not at this point. Bayo might have honestly surpassed Joker, but I feel like Lima is a player that definitely knows the Joker matchup well enough where I would favor him going into the matchup. Not impossible for Omega take that upset honestly it's going to be an absolute banger but i'm going to go with lehman here and since we're not going to be looking at the loser side of top eight what i've done instead is i've taken the 20 players that i think are most likely to top eight this event and i've given them their percentages you're going to have the confidence here these are just the people that i chose to go through on the winner side me days chase paul kage and lima somewhat confident with omega aaron icy mist and goblin i would expect all these players to get into the top eight though not through the winner side then you have the maybe tier kobe leon doorstop zeno and send they would all have to require a couple upsets i guess leon technically not a couple upsets because he is a top eight seed but also he's playing bowser so his bracket is going to be incredibly important for him but i definitely think all these players can top eight then you have the perchance here i think the brackets matter a lot for these players especially chunky kong and jeja jeja because they're playing kirby and donkey kong and for the rest of these players they all just have to make some incredibly difficult but doable upsets to be able to get into the top eight and then you're gonna have the little mac mania and peanut being in there now Peanut has a big task ahead of him to even place his seed. He is going to have to do a lot of work and win a lot of unwinnable matches. But if anyone can do it, it would be Peanut. So he could top eight this event. Don't count him out. And here we are, the top eight. We're just going to be doing the projected seeds, except for Pocket, we're going to have Lima in place of him. And for Lima, we're going to have Send in place of him. But in the winner's side, we're going to have Mudes versus Chase and Apollo Kage versus Lima. For Mudes Chase, I would definitely favor Mudes going into this one, considering the amount of trash that he has talked about Politan and how bad that character is and how easily exploitable she is and the fact that he has a very, very good secondary Politana. All I'm saying is Mutis, he, he better win this matchup. Then you're going to have Apollo Kage versus Lima. Now, the only time that Lima was able to beat Apollo Kage was his first set against him in the grand finals of Battle for the South 2023 where Apollo Kage won the reset and then won every single set that they played since. It's a 4-1 record in his favor and I would definitely expect him to come out on top this time around. In the loser side, we're going to have Leon versus Aaron and Goblin versus Omega. Now for Leon, Aaron, again, kind of the same thing as it is in the winner side. It's Diddy Kong versus Bowser. It's a very tough match for Bowser. Can Leon win it? Yes, he's won Leon Windows before, but I'm never going to be favoring him going into any of those matchups. So going to give Aaron the benefit of the doubt here and says that he closed it out. But don't entirely count out Leon. He'll make a lot of these sets at least fairly competitive. Then you're going to have Goblin versus Omega. Now, they have played three times before. Goblin won their first encounter, but Omega is going to win the last two. But I'm going to go with Goblin to win this one because at Delfino Maza, I was actually very impressed by his play. So I think if he's bringing that caliber of play to this event, he could go on a deep run and get his upset over Omega.
Our losers quarter of the matches are going to be Aaron versus Lima and Chase versus Goblin. Now for Aaron and Lima, they haven't played in a very long time. It is two years since their last set, though the record overall is 2-1 in Lima's favor. So you might favor him going into it technically, but that data doesn't really mean anything. And if I had to pick who's winning in a matchup between Bayonetta and Diddy Kong, I would probably favor Diddy Kong going into that one. And for that reason, I'm going to say that Aaron does end up taking that set. They're going to have Chase versus Goblin. Now, of their last three encounters all of them have gone into chase's way and i would expect this one to be the same goblin has been chased one time before because overall the set record is going to be 3-1 but it's not looking great for him editing proof block here the record between lima and aaron is actually 2-1 in aaron's favor so even more confidence towards him now and we have our top four mudes versus ak in the winner's side and chase versus aaron in the loser side and we're going to be fairly brief here because the only new matchup that we're actually going to have in this is mudes versus apollo kage a little bit of spoilers i know but for this matchup it is 1-1 overall apollo kage is going to be winning their last set which was fairly reason it was actually at smashcon when 3-1 into apollo kage's favor so i would favor him in this set as well then in the loser side you're going to have chase versus aaron we've already talked about that matchup i would favor chase going into it then you're going to have chase versus mudes I already talked about that matchup i would favor mudes going into it then you're gonna have mudes for apollo kage and we just talked about that one i will say i definitely think that mudes will reset the bracket i'd honestly be very surprised regardless of who gets in the grand finals between mudes and apollo kage if there wasn't a reset but i am still gonna favor apollo kage to win the entire event and i thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoy the support has been absolutely unreal as of late if there's a player i left out or anything i got wrong at any point in the video or if you just want to say hi please leave a comment down below be sure to sub all that yada yada and I I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.